The sum if function could be useful in a situation where you're planning a field trip for multiple classes. On the left, we need to find the total number of boys and the total number of girls that are coming from the data we see here. So to do that, we're going to use a sum if function to calculate the number of boys and the number of girls. We'll start that by typing equal, then sum if, open parentheses. We're going to select our range that will have our criteria, in other words, whether it's boys or girls. Type a comma. Then in quotation marks, we're going to type our criteria. In this case, we want the number of boys, so we're going to type quotation marks, boys, and then another set of quotation marks, comma, and then the range that we want to sum if it meets our criteria. Then we'll close parentheses. When we press enter, we'll see the total number of boys in this cell. If we want to test it, we can just change the number of boys and see if that changes our sum. Now we'll do the same thing for girls. So we'll start by typing equals sum if, open parentheses, our range that will have our criteria, comma, then our criteria in quotation marks, in this case, girls, comma, and then the range we're going to sum. Close parentheses, and then press enter. So now we have the total number of boys and the total number of girls going on our field trip. On this side, we want to get a lunch count of those same students. We need to find out how many want pizza, how many want hamburgers, and how many want kale. So we'll use the same sum if function. For pizza, we'll do equals sum if, open parentheses, the range we'll use for our criteria, comma, our criteria in quotation marks, so in this case, pizza, comma, and our range we want to sum if it meets that criteria. Close parentheses and press enter. Then we can continue to do this to find the totals for hamburger and for kale as well.